Hey everyone, this is iPhone 101 Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get free apps. That's apps from the App Store. Any apps, paid apps, you can get them for free. So what you're going to type in is A-P-P-T-R-A-C-K-R, -P -P -T -R -R, App Tracker. You can do this on any web browser, but I personally like Firefox of what you're going to see next. So app tracker, it's app tracker tracker without the e, and it'll direct you to apptracker.org, and um, you can look up any app like um, Jelly Card too. And um, I do this right. Jelly car. Let's see if then. There we go. Jelly car too. So just click on the app you want, and it'll tell you what how much it is on iTunes. But just scroll down, and then you'll see a bunch of versions. Click on the latest version. So this is version 1.2, and download it from AppScene.org. AppScene.org is the safest place to download it. It'll bring you up to um, this app scene. You type in what's here. The G, I think that's a lower history, TG. So G, TG. Let's see if that works. Oh, no. Wow, these are really weird. G, P, C, 6, I think. Okay, and then you should get this. Now, this is why I like Firefox. Firefox is the only browser that gives you this download screen. So, um, if you don't have Firefox, I highly recommend you downloading it. So, you go open with, and you choose, and then you go to iTunes. And you open that. And then you press OK. Now I already have Jelly Card 2. Now, on your iP iPhone or iPod, you have to go to. By the way, this is uh, my theme is I Bomber, I Bomber iNav. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'll make a video on it if you want. Open up apps. And um, you can go to Cydia if you want, which is right here. But I don't, I don't like Cydia. Rock is much faster. Rock app. If you can download it off Cydia, just type in Rock. It's much faster, which you can see right now. And um. It still takes some time to load, but not as much as Cydia. As you can see right now, see it didn't take that long. And the loading just happens right there. So, um, go into your sources. So manage sources. You can do this on Cydia also. Manage sources. And then you're going to add a new source. And the source you're going to add is http semicolon slash slash cydia dot hack hello oops hack you low dot us so cydia dot hackylo dot us and you're gonna um add source I already have it though and um um there it is cydia dot 
Well, anyways, on Cydia, you'll be able to go through, um, through Cydia.Hackulo. So, um, let me see if it'll work. Okay, there we go. So, you go in there, and then, um... You go to AppSync, AppSync for OS 3.1. If you have a 3.1.2, um, 3.1.2 or 3.1.3 firmware on your iPhone or iPod Touch, or OS or AppSync for OS 3.0 for a uh, firmware 3.0, and if you have an iPhone or iPod Touch with running firmware 2. Point something, then I recommend you upgrade. So you just click on AppSync, I have 3.1, and you press install. And then once it's installed, um, I, you're pretty much good to go. So then um, I'm going to exit out. And also, to find out if what firmware you have, go into your settings. Okay, and um, go into your general. And about. And there it is your version. I have 3.1.3. .3. Now, um, in iTunes, your, um, your, um, applications will be there. So, um, the reason you need the AppSync application is because it won't sync without it. So, um, yeah. As you can see, I downloaded a lot of stuff from App Tracker. It'll say um if you download things from App Tracker, it'll say unknown genre, like FIFA 10. And um and Sonic the Hedgehog. And also and it, the applications you um got from App Tracker will be like a square shape kind of. So yeah. So um thanks for watching and subscribe.